Hey guys, welcome to Lara Tips. In today's video, we'll be looking at three new things that are added to Laravel version 9.42. So let's get started. The first thing that has been added is this is you lead method on the stringable class, and it is contributed by Michael. Let me show you that over here. Before there was this you lead method added to the stringable class like this. You can see the you lead over here. Before there was only you ID. Now there is also you lead, and now there is this is you lead method that is added there was is uuid method before so i have here uuid string and you lead string and here i am checking is uuid so currently i am checking is uuid on the uuid string which will return true and in the you lead it will return false similarly for the you lead string also is you lead it will return true and for is uuid string is you lead will return true basically it will return true for the you lead string and if you want to know more about the you lead then you can see this article i'll be leaving the link of this article just below that like button basically you lead is a kind of unique identifier which can be sorted even when generated within a millisecond now let us move to the second thing which is this singleton method on the route class and it is contributed by jessacher as we already know there is a resource method on the route but now there is this singleton this singleton route can be useful if there there is only one resource available let me show you an example over here here in the database i have this settings table and on the settings table i have only one row this table will have only one row and here i have platform brand and you can have many more columns over here or just one json column basically it has only one row so now if we try to create routes for this kind of resource then we had to create all the routes manually like showing the form showing the details or updating it but now there is a dedicated singleton method on the route so here let me go over here in the web.php First of all, let me create a controller for it. PHP artisan make controller settings controller dash dash singleton. If you pass dash dash singleton, then it will actually create all the methods that is required for this controller. So let me do it over here like this. And now let me create a route over here. Route singleton and let me say settings. And here I'll say settings controller like this now let us check what are the routes that we get for it so let's say php artisan route list grep settings it will only give us the settings related route so if i do it like this then we'll get these three routes over here the so route the edit and the update routes and now if i go inside this settings controller i don't know why this create this store and this delete are generated basically we don't need those so i'll remove these or you can just publish the stops and remove those i'll just remove this from here now let us return something from here let's say return singleton so return singleton let's say edit and let's say here update as you can see here we can access the routes like this here let me go to laratips.test and now let me say let's say settings and you can see here singleton so over here which means that it has perfectly reached this and if you want to go to the edit section then you can just see here the edit one this thing settings slash edit slash edit like this and here if you want to access that settings then you can just say here return settings first like this and if i just reload then you can see that settings over here basically using this singleton method on the route class we can save some of the time now let us move to the third and the final thing that has been added is this report if and report unless method and these are just the convenience method let me show you that over here in the web.php here inside the home controller so let's say if we had to check some conditional logic and then report then we had to do it like this okay but now we can easily do it like this here we don't have to check if condition so this and this will work the same way let me go over here in the laravel.log and come here and visit the laratips.test it is loading and if you look here in the laravel.log file you can see this unauthenticated users not allowed this is the message coming from over here or instead of report if not auth check you can do report unless auth check let me just remove this thing from here come here and reload and here you'll see the same thing over here